All right, that brings us to secret number two. David and I, this is probably our favorite one. I don't know. We're probably going to say that about all of them. Run it like a business. You know, this is something that David and I have been coaching and teaching for so long that we actually created a course for it. Our newest course is actually called Rybab, Run Your Business as a Business. So this is the question. Are you running a real estate business or is it running you? One thing that we have taught over and over again, we open almost every single training or coaching that we do with the the, the primary question, which is, Jen, um, Jan or group, what do you do for a living? When someone asks you what you do for a living, what's your answer? And this is the answer we hear all the time. I'm a realtor. I sell real estate. I help people find a dream home. I work with investors. We get all those. That's what we generally get. What we don't get is what we want to get you to understand today and really embody and understand because it can be a game changer for you. And what is that? It's a mindset shift, really. I mean, it changes the whole way we think about owning our business. And so so, so we always think of ourselves as a salesperson. However, we are business owners, correct? That's it. It is a paradigm shift and you just nailed it. When you start really saying to yourself as an affirmation, I own a real estate business or I'm a real estate and business. And I own a successful real yes, estate business. Yes, better. Thank you, David. Then you will see how everything starts lining up. Decisions you make will change because you actually see yourself as a successful business owner, not mm -hmm. as a salesperson, not mm -hmm. as somebody who works for another broker. Correct. That is the key to running it like a business. Yep. But there's more. And the more part of running it like a business, all businesses that are successful have some of the metrics we were just talking about, but it also has systems, duplicatable systems. Here's the reality. You guys listening to this right now, the, the folks David and I coach for years now and that we've managed for years, it's successful salespeople because they don't think like a business owner. It's all up in their head. They're doing it. They're going to the next transaction. They can do it in their sleep. Right, David? Jen, I would add something, Jen. Uh, something that uh, that always always comes back to me is, you know, I come from a restaurant background. Mm. Uh, so imagine if you owned a Subway franchise. Let's just use Subway because it's a simple franchise, right? Uh, would you know your food cost? Of course. Would you know your beverage cost? Yes. Would you know your overhead? Yes. Would you have a business plan? Yeah, and if I was buying a franchise of a subway, I would have. I, they would probably give me all that, right? I would right. Have you'd, have a you'd have a P and L, and you pay attention to that too. Correct. Right? You would. If you didn't have any of those uh, any of those things, and you were a subway franchise owner. What would happen to your franchise? You'd be out of business. Correct. Same thing applies in real estate. It's no different than running any other successful business or franchise in the world. You have to run your business as a business. So here you go. Take notes. It's in your worksheet. You need to have systems around these core real estate business areas. Okay. Number one, a business plan and goals for you and for your team members. Uh -huh. All right. We actually have a free course for that, that you can uh -huh. check out at WBNL coaching. Number two, you need to be very clear about your unique value proposition, which then ties into your branding, who you are, what you stand for, how you do it and you how you do this for your clients and customers. And then it also flows over to how you do that to attract agents to work on your team. The next system is critical. They're all critical, but this is the one where everyone will tell David and I all their business comes from their database, right? Their sphere of influence, their past client. Mm -hmm. You know, and here's the thing. Do you have a duplicatable system in place that is less is more? but stays in touch, high touch with your people with value. And what's the other? We have to show value, David. And we have to connect. And we have to connect. Correct. Show value and connect. And that those are the first three systems that you have to have in place. You know, Jan, I say that in every single coaching appointment that I have there at some point in every interaction in real estate, you must show value and connect. So, so the next section I want to talk about is our seller BDA. BDA is something I use through coaching and Jan, you do as well. It's the before, the during, and the after for the seller process. So do we have a, a systematic approach to the first part, that's before, the middle part, which is the during, and then the after, that's the after the sale plan. And also we need the BDA dialed in for our buyers, right? We need what happens before, what happens during, and what happens after. 
And then, of course, our lead generation and conversion systems. And of course, Jan, you and I always uh, refer to the four pillars, right? We're very systematic about how we lead generate. And it really does go back to what you said, Jan, less is more. And the next systems that tie into this marketing is, do you have a niche? You know, we really believe in, in our team and David's team, we're not trying to be all things to all people. We are working with the, the, a focus and you may, you may, the only way you could maybe diversify this is in your team is maybe you're going to hire people in your team that have different niches, but they're still all going to follow a system of how you stay in touch with your clients and what your before, during and after is for your seller and buyer. So you can have niche marketing and other advertising strategies. A, another one that's near and dear to my heart. And it was a very, one of the very first things I did with my team was help everybody with their online presence. Okay. It is so critical. Today, it's been this way for years, but it, it's never been more critical. People are going to Google you. They're going to Google you. They're going to Google the people that are on your team. And so everyone on your team has to have the basics covered. That means no shadow heads. You know what I mean by that, David? <laughs> yeah, I do. People, do you go and Google them as an agent, even if you're trying to connect with another agent for a referral and you see their Zillow profile is a shadow head. So we're talking Zillow. We're talking Realtor.com, Homelight, Homes. We're even talking Yelp your Facebook page, your mm -hmm. LinkedIn, your YouTube, Instagram. This is where people are going to find you. And those are places that you can also get reviews, the majority of the ones I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. So you also need a social media marketing strategy around that. First and foremost, you need profiles, you need reviews, and then you need a social media effective marketing strategy. couple last ones that you've got to have as your core system so you can run it like a business. Business and financial metrics. David mentioned it earlier. This is all the finances when your subway story, it's you have to have it. You have to know your revenue and your cost and your profit. And you need to know everything in between. Correct. And then you are going to continue to build a team. And a team can be you and an assistant, you, an assistant and a buyer's agent. That's a team in our world. But you might want to be able to have a larger team. Maybe you're going to hire 10 people or 20 people or have an expansion model where you have a team. This is something mm -hmm. I'm working on right now. Have mm -hmm. a profitable team here in Vegas. And my goal in the next year is to have a profitable team in Florida where I'm ultimately going to retire. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so around that, you need recruiting and retention system. And, and, and David and I really understand this because this is where we've probably spent the lion's share of our careers is in recruiting, coaching and retaining agents. And so that's the stuff that we share with you in our materials and in our coaching because we understand how to do that. Right. And Jan, I want to add one of my babies. Uh, one of my babies is knowing your market. In other words, yes. I am an expert in my field. I know exactly what's going on in our market. So Jan, one, wouldn't you say one of the most valuable things that we coach is understanding your market yes. and, and the actual simple numbers of your market? How much inventory and what does that mean to a buyer? What does that mean to a seller? And all of those things that's, that, that are currently going on in our market we are in command of, we are experts. We can share that with every single lead, every single seller, every single buyer, and we can tell them exactly how that relates to them. 100% agree. And the key to these systems, by the way, these systems you need with the exception of recruiting and retention, if you're an individual agent and you just wanna have a profitable mm -hmm. business. But mm -hmm. if you're building a team, mm -hmm. you put them in place for you. And the people you hire are going to plug and play. They're going to basically do what you do. That's what they want, by the way. Absolutely.